Three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome to the Something Stony Podcast. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? You know, I feel like a, a fly on Pence's head is what I feel like. That's what I feel like. No, That's I don't feel like that. Statement. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was watching the... Let me say this really quickly, because we've been shooting these episodes like once a week, and we haven't started airing them yet we're, we're we're almost there at that point and we by the time people see this we'll well this will be like our fourth or fifth episode um it's been interesting because you and i have are both fairly active at least we're paying attention to politics right now i don't know how you can't in this world oh, yeah. um but, and we we've talked about talking about it and we've talked about kind of discussing it and putting into our our our, our, our this this show but it gets tricky because we're going to talk about, especially right now with, so a timestamp, you know, uh, uh, Trump has COVID. Uh, he's being very uh, irresponsible about it. Um, they had the debates tonight with Pence and uh, Harris, and it was, it's very frustrating to watch these people just lie, just openly yeah. lie. Yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, I, I like Harris a lot, and I think she was she did a pretty good job with what she could. With I, I sort of got both that Trump and Pence loved to interrupt. They just they loved to interrupt people, and, and you yeah. can see them like it, it's all he, it's almost like a script. Like he, well, it's almost like a tactic. It's like they know they don't really have any good points to make, so they're just going to interrupt the people that are trying to make good points, so that way yeah. no one actually hears them. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty, but it was I, I. I was pleasant. I was happy with Harris. I think that um, it's an interesting thing. I, I was, you know, talking to my wife about, it and I was like, you know, she's like, she's like, well, she's not really fighting back. She's not being the fierce black woman, and you know, and, it, and it's true. She, I, I would have liked more from her. Like, I would have liked to say, absolutely not. But here's the thing. She's a black woman running for vice president. And let's face it, if she were to, she, so they, they did a poll of un, uh, you know, undecided voters and they all were like, oh, she seems a little aggressive and condescending. Really? Yeah, because it's like the angry black woman thing, just like the angry black man kind of thing. Yeah. And that I, I'm like, oh, yeah, we're not racist at all. This country is not racist at all. No, not at all. It's shocking to me, but and I know some of our viewers will disagree with this, and I'm sure some will probably get pretty angry when we do talk politics. Um, hopefully, you'll just <laughs> deal with that and maybe wait for the good stuff. But like that stuff that you're maybe you grow in, some balls, maybe you pussy maybe. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what you said, you know. <laughs> Uh, so other than that, that, but that's why we did, we haven't been kind of doing politics as much, I think, at least for me, because I don't think we're, it's, it, it's so, look, we used to live in a world where it, there was a big story, maybe a, a, every month or two, there was something that happened that was fairly big, but big, big stories, there was nothing. Um, we're, at a, we're at a time when literally every day, some big story comes out yeah. and it, it's so it, it's it's exhausting i just want i want i want i want quality of life back i want like like well i don't want to think about it it's 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 justified this this insane behavior and this willful ignorance and it's it's given a voice to the lowest common denominator of society it's so unbelievable how how blindly some people will follow anybody you know and and just someone who's just overly confident and cocky. Mm. But well, it's it's a cult thing. It it really is. Essentially it is. And and I was thinking about it because so Trump has COVID. He's to time stamp this even more. He's back in the White House and he just announced what today that he is canceling any uh uh second stimulus check or stimulus package talks. And unless he gets reelected, 
as a tactic. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's so insane. Quid it's so pro insane. Quo by and, and it is pro quo. <laughs> squid squid pro ro. And squid I think ro. and I think that it's such an obvious red flag to any 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 uh, uh, reasonable person. But I was thinking about because I'm sure there's a lot of people that will read that story and go, "Oh, let's let's see his followers explain that one." But his his followers would react in. in here's how they would react. They would see it as because they're already on his side. They're already gonna vote for him, so they're gonna Absolutely. be like, "Yeah, that'll fucking that'll fucking teach you guys to vote for the right person." And then it'll turn into it'll turn into them. Uh, getting mad at, at liberals or Democrats because since they're voting the other way, now they can't get their money. Like, now it's the Democrats' fault. And it's like, dude, it's such... It's unbelievable. And it's something that you can't... I, I don't think you can reverse that. It's it's yeah. They're too far gone. It, it, you cannot reason with an unreasonable person. No, you can't. And it's, it, it's, it, it is heartbreaking because I've seen a lot of... I, I've seen... You know, I've had friends that have fr- had friendships end. I've had family members that suddenly you, you're you're falling apart. And I mean, look, it's I've never seen this in, a, in an election ever. I've never seen anything no, like no, this no. because it was always like, oh gosh, you like you like that guy? Oh, you're an asshole. Blah blah blah, whatever. But then it would be like almost instantly, yeah, we're we're fine. We're we'll we'll get over the humps. Yeah, this, of course. This is definitely different, and it's uh, it's the. It's hard to explain. It's hard to. It's it's hard for you and I to comprehend what, why why this is so much of this is okay for these people. Why so much of what he does is okay, and and this this flagrant 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 <laughs> uh, this disregard for like just decency and and, and, yeah. and empathy is is bizarre to me. It's just yeah. really bizarre. Well, I think that you know you get in these big cities, you know, like LA, that are mainly progressive, and and you're just in this bubble, and you think that that's you know, well, everyone around me thinks this way. How the fuck are there's so many? Th- and you forget that there's a whole middle of the country mm-hmm. where those are your red states. You know, those are those are really or blue. I don't really know. I don't, I don't remember which is. Yes, red. you're right. Red. Red is. You're right. You're right. See, this is why I don't get into politics. Wait, what are you smoking now? Are you how 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 far how far are you in? Oh, so this is what I wanted to show. I guess this is, this will be a little sidebar. Um, okay. th- this is what I wanted to show you. I got these at the dispensary the other day. Um, they're like rolled up. There's something that you pack your weed in, like you grind your weed up and then you pack it, but it's already rolled up for you. So it's hmm. let me pull one out. Let's so see. it's it's a this is just a little paper that's in it, but I'll take that out. So it's just a leaf. If you look closer, and the camera sucks, but it's a uh-huh. leaf. Oh, that's cool. And um, it has a little band, and then the 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 filter, the filter there is a uh, made out of corn husk. Oh wow! So and it's real thick. It's almost it's like a weed cigar. And um, I was gonna say it looks big. Yeah, it's it's a thick boy. It holds two grams of weed, it says, and um, so yeah, I, I got a, I got a two pack, and, and I've already kind of smoked through a lot nice. of one, uh, but they're they're nice because the corn husk, when you bite down on it and inhale, it gives it it kind of gives this cooling effect to the smoke. Oh wow! And it makes it and and the since it's a leaf, since the paper is a leaf, it burns a lot slower and it doesn't taste like shit. And especially the corn husk filter makes it nice and cool. So uh, yeah, and then you just kind of roll it up, and or it's already rolled up. But yeah, so I would imagine there'd be somewhat of a of a stony audience <laughs> for this show. So yeah, if if these things are at um, your local dispensary, I would highly oh. recommend them. Okay. Fair enough. I like it. I like it. that's it. That's I love how like weed has become fucking like essential. Like like it's it's oh it is it, it, it is and it's become that way and people are like uh, 
I don't know. It, it's it's so bizarre to me. Like when all the stuff COVID started really hitting, and they really did they shut stuff down for a while. Weed was open. You could get. Your and weed. those lines were out the door, just like everything else. My God, yeah, my God. Hey, so, well, speaking of, we we we've talked about this, and I, I don't know. Because I do have an interview in the morning. I have a good interview in the morning. We do this late at night, guys, because we like to just chillax. Chillax. I actually See, you said... You got to bite down on it like a cigar. Oh, shit. Yeah, look, it's totally... Oh, that's cool. Do I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You you look like him. No, you look like... um. No, it's not Arnold. You look like some... You could be, you could be an expendable. Oh, are you going to go for Sly? Maybe no, I no. You're a, you have more of a. If you were bald, Jason Statham, but don't shave your hair though. Don't don't do. No, no. You know? I uh, I think I would look good bald though. For for the longest time, I always just had a buzz cut, like a real short buzz cut. So I kind of already know what I look like bald a little bit. I think I could pull it off. I think no. you should send and, me. Wait, how, are you get? Am I getting twit? Are you on Twitch right now? I keep getting messages that you're like. Hold on, this is driving me crazy. I, I, you know, I we don't have to stop recording this or anything. I'm just I keep getting messages from from Twitch, and I only get look. I'm not a gamer, and I do it for you. I, I, I'm on Twitch for you. That's I appreciate it. that a lot, buddy. That is it. So, I, but I keep getting messages like you're online, and I just want to see if maybe I'm crazy. No, it is. I am crazy. I don't know why I'm getting these. But it's really it's so bizarre. Um, that's mine's, mine's starting to hit a little bit. I'm feeling a little um, there, and I'm I'm debating. I got this. I'm saving this. I don't know when to use it, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if tonight's night. I don't know if I'm feeling it. Tonight. You know what? I think I think if you have to question it that much, then maybe you're not actually feeling it. Yeah, maybe I think it's gonna be have it's gonna have to be one of those days where I you don't, don't want to wake up. Yeah, I don't want to wake and up. Everything I, is fuck, and everybody yeah. sucks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, weirdly enough, I don't like. I'm a fun drunk. Like I'm a like when I get drunk, I we discuss this with Ryan. You know what? Uh, Ryan Ryan Coltrera, when he we had him on, and he's seen me like when I've just been wasted. Um, I, and I don't. I just don't drink a lot. I, I literally drink. I have the, I have the. I have the the ability to drink about maybe a, a two drinks. I'm done. I just. I drink like a 14 year old girl. So um, it's it's very frustrating. But at the same time, I kind of like it because I've never had a hangover. Never. It's true, and you spend a lot less money. Yeah. Exactly. I mean. Technically, I you know sometimes I'm in a lucky position where I'm at a party and it's a you know it's a studio thing or an industry thing and I get to oh free drinks oh rare. I mean that's yeah. what I drink man and I get the I get the 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 fancy like the tequila sunrise or I get the I always have the bartender pick for me that's bartender fun. whoever yeah I think that's fun I like like no matter who it is I just I I always develop a, a like a little like. A friendship for the night with the bartender that's cool uh, i just because I, I it's a hard job man that's what, yeah, you're is. dealing with a bunch of drunk so i i i like to you know i like to and, and i've made a couple of friends that way i've actually made a couple of friends so it's it's a it's a fun thing to um i don't know i like it i like i like the because uh, i don't mind the foo-foo drinks i don't care i don't give a shit yeah i think there's a lot of pressure especially as a man to be like oh, i have a whiskey you know, but well, no, I mean, man. technically, I do. That's so. true. But this, like, this, yeah, if someone handed me a lemon drop, I'd take it. Yeah, yeah, they're good. I like, I like, like, I'm getting in. I'm simplifying a little more, though. I'm getting more into the rum and coke type thing, or a whiskey and a coke, or something like that. I was into that a lot when I was like 19. Yeah, that's that's about my age range when it comes to drinking. <laughs> oh, I got a story for you. So, I, speaking of comic, you know, Comic Con this year was online and everything. So I didn't, I didn't go. I haven't been for about three years, I believe. The last time I went to Comic Con, but for twelve years, eleven to twelve years or something, I covered Comic Con. It's there every year. 
Um, and I was there the whole goddamn time. And I remember I made one of my best friends at Comic-Con because he's a reader. He was a reader of Joe Blow. And we were doing a, it was when we used to have a podcast over there. And, it, you know, it was a fun show to do. And we were doing the live thing over in, in San Diego. And uh, we invited readers to come and join us. And That's a cool. few did. They, a few showed up. So this this guy shows up and, you know, he's he starts, uh, they start joking about my drinking problem in the fact that I, I can't drink more than one, one or two. Yeah. And so, of course, my drinks started to be bought. They were being brought to me. He was buying me drinks. I ended up four Long Island iced teas that night. That's a lot. Four. And... It's all recorded on the podcast. It's all there. And oh, you fantastic. Hear, dude, you it's kind of a precursor to this, you know. You you hear it, you you it's it's funny, but like but the irony is that him and I became very good friends. He lives about like two less than two minutes away. I didn't know this. He's got a family. So our families have become family friends. And he, Derek, he hi Derek. Uh, he's one of my dearest friends, and it's uh, he's a really amazing guy. So it's uh, I thought I'd share that story. No, that's that's a really that's it's so crazy to hear stories that happen like that because it's like what a small world mm. that we live in, really. And it's and really small world. Also, how cool is it that you can go to Comic Con and pull your own audience? You know. Yeah, and an audience yeah. that buys drinks for you and shit like that's that's a pretty surreal moment. It's you know I've I've actually weirdly enough being Jimmy O from Joe Blow I've definitely had moments where I'll walk into a store I Starbucks ironically enough I I remember I, I had covered a couple of things I'd done a Q and A and I'd done something else I remember going to Starbucks the day after and the guy recognized me he was there for both of these things and he was like dude oh my god i'm such you did such a great job of a really sweet really nice guy and i'm like okay i was about to show him my little card he's like no no it's on me it's whoa on me. yeah yeah so i was uh it's there are definitely perks to being that's cool i mean that's like a genuine celebrity moment it is. It is. I, 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 that word is such a weird word. Weird, weird world for weird. I can't <laughs> fucking say it. I can't fucking say we'll it. We'll get it. It's a weird we'll word. It. Yeah. Weird it is. word. It is a weird word. Weird word. Weird word. And I don't, I certainly don't think of myself as one. I don't like, I, I think that would be ridiculous. I am recognized by some people and I, I'm known and I, I really, I'm very lucky and, and, and it, it's so cool to be able to talk to actors I respect and that I, that I, I love their work and, and talk about their work. And that's a, a very satisfying feeling. And I'm, I'm very, I feel very blessed in a lot of ways for a lot of things in my life. And I, Hey, look, you know, now we're doing this. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think, I don't know, I think the word celebrity or the idea of it is really more of a, a relative thing. And mm -hmm. There's different levels and different area. I mean, you you're a celebrity in your own regard. I mean, sure. For what you do, you're kind of in the best place because obviously LA, there's a lot of like super movie nerds who love to watch all the junkets and then they like, oh, who who does these these things the best? Oh, Jimmy O does. Um, <laughs> Depends on who you ask. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> but if you ask these guys, they'll say it. Sure. And and then like I'm gonna, I, you know, I like the way he goes about asking questions because it really is a skill. Some people go in and, and just ask stupid questions, or maybe they don't kind of get enough meaty questions in there with good, you know, a good conversation. So it's certainly a skill set. And and if you're gonna watch junkets, you're gonna want to watch someone that does it well. So yeah, you're you're a celebrity in your own world. I just think that it gets associated with like the A list so much that it's like if you're not that, then you're not a celebrity. But I don't think that's true at all. Well, there's a lot of different, you know. There, there's TikTok stars. There, there's YouTube yeah, of stars. I wouldn't recognize a single one of those, but there's millions of people none. that would. None, none at all. I, I well, K Kelly, Kelly on Conway's daughter, I would, I would recognize, but uh, <laughs> like, oh, uh, she, I, she, her, dude, she had one. She just had a TikTok 
jumping really quickly back to politics where she's talking to you got to watch this she's talking to doing a tiktok and you hear kellyanne going you are you fucking talking about your mother fucking dead? And, and it's like and she's like are you filming me right now it's the funniest thing it is uh, and she literally she broke the story that her mom had COVID. i think oh my god <laughs> yeah so she i i it's like the only honest word you're gonna get right now from oh, those people is from kelly kelly uh, claudia conway da- her, her daughter so kellyanne conway's daughter i can't talk claudia you, know you said claudia at some claudia point. yeah I did. claudia well, conway I mean, what is her name shit i don't know <laughs> i don't fucking but yeah, it made me laugh a lot, and it, it was a funny video. And I, I'm at this point when people watch this, it's probably been seen a million times at least. That's so crazy. It's it's so crazy, and and that's either a cry for help or it's her knowing that she's going to be a, a TikTok star after this, and she's good at build it. Build a little revenue out of her own, and you know she she's has this viral thing. God damn it! Now I got I got to look at her. I know I know it's I think I'm pretty sure it's Claudia. Claudia, she, <laughs> you know she's like this. She had one I thought was really interesting. It was really it made me laugh a lot because I was like, ha ha, uh, Claudia, Claudia, is it Claudia? Why am I not remembering this? Yeah, so it is Claudia. Okay, oh, it is. So, okay. Yeah. I was yeah. really hoping that it wasn't Claudia. I it would have been. Uh, so I wouldn't have been terribly embarrassed, but I would have been like, "Do," uh, yeah. but yeah, she so she posted something I thought was hilarious because she was like talking about how, okay, guys, all you uh, reporters are like joining my live stream. I'm a 15 year old girl, kind of weird. And it is. It's totally it is. weird. It's, it is. But it's it's. It's it's funny because the whole political, you know, aspect of it, and the that she's just this fifteen year old girl basically telling the truth and saying, "Hey, this is going on. This is, I mean, truth. I guess that's it's hard to say what's true in that family and what's true and what's going on over there." But like, I I feel like we're getting more honest answers from her than we are from anyone else. You know, and I, that's what I, I respect teenagers. Where I really do. I feel like it's it's hard to be a teen. I, oh, I yeah. was there. It sucks. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I and and look at as a as a dad, like I've had I had more teenagers jump into oh like help with when I was with my kid when he was a baby and all that stuff. They were very polite. And they were very kind, and I, I, you know, they're. I don't. I never. I never really think. Oh, you, if you're in this age range, you're an asshole. I never really think no, that, or you're well, stupid, or you're. All of these generational things are the same things that get said about every new generation. Mm-hmm. When you I know. was when I was your age, I had to walk uphill, both ways, in a blizzard, carrying a chainsaw. Yeah, that's what I had to do, and you didn't do you did nothing. That's intense. It's intense. I was trying to think of a good one, and I'm, I'm I couldn't do it. I just sat and watched The Lion King on VHS. Wait, wait which one though? Yeah. Oh, oh, VHS. Okay, thank God. Yeah. I, okay, you watched the good one. Okay, yeah. that, that remix <laughs> yeah. sucked ass. What, what, I didn't even watch it. When's the last time you saw The Lion King? Fuck, it's been a long, long time. Um, I think maybe somewhat recently, but the last one I really remember, I went to go see it in theaters when it when it had like a 3D re-release. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was like a stretch in time where random movies were getting 3D re-releases. I saw Terminator 2 in 3D when that came out. It was just, yeah. It's such a weird... It was like a dumb little phase that only lasted a few months, but... Yeah, it didn't go... It didn't, didn't last. <laughs> yeah. How did it? How did it play? Like, do you still have the the feelies for it? Like when you watch it, it's like. I mean, it's still always you know some parts are always going to be sad and heartwarming and and you know, but I think that's kind of like the beauty of those movies and the beauty of the writing is that it can get you every time because it's so charming. You know, especially I was always I, Toy Story was, was always my favorite. Mm. 
God, uh, Toy Story 3 especially. I gotta say that. Oh, uh, sure. yeah, that moment was, which I still haven't seen 4, so. Oh, it's really good. Let's pump it's the really brakes good. on that. I'll tell you exactly what happens. Damn it. After that, I'm spoiling the whole fucking thing for you. No, I won't do that to huh. you. I love you too much. I won't do that to you. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of movies, I, uh, I I know you are a um, big Halloween fan, as as am I. I. I would say you're probably a bigger fan, just because you're a bigger fan of horror in general. Sure. But I know I know Halloween is one of your mains. So. How oh, beautiful. Um. What did you think? Because I was having this conversation with someone else recently, because I I was mentioning how I still haven't seen the most recent remake, mm, and. Okay as the big Halloween fan that you are, what did you think of Rob Zombie's Halloween movies? Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say the remake. I was like, or the recent one. I was like, yeah, I loved it. Um, interestingly enough, I actually reviewed the first film. Um, I liked it. I liked the first film uh, in a lot of ways because it, it wasn't my Halloween. It wasn't yeah. the just... A, a, guy, a guy that's just crazy. He's just killing people. So they did tack on the, you know, the the stripper mom and the, the, the but I actually kind of appreciated. I like Rob Zombie. I do too. Yeah. I, he's really cool, dude. I I, 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 like him personally. I've interviewed him. I've had the pleasure of interviewing him and hanging. Out. I mean, he freaking talked to my kid about guitars. He's a he's a sweetheart. He's a sweet guy. Um, I use sweetheart a lot. Never, you know, don't just don't don't worry about that too much. Um, but it's all true. I feel that way always. Yeah, of course. But I feel like Halloween, the first half was really interesting because yes. I hadn't seen that. I exactly. hadn't seen that story. I, I loved the extra character development. I loved yes. that. And I, I wouldn't want to see it in the original Halloween, but in that no. Halloween. Sure, it was, yeah. and but then it bothered me that they went into such a for the last half, it was kind of a greatest hits moment of Halloween. It was rushed. It, I didn't think, uh, as much as I, I like Scout Taylor, Scout, I can't think of her last name. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm there already. Uh, I can't think of her name, Scout. The, the lead, the girl who plays Laurie Strode. Okay. And I, I didn't love her performance um, really. Be, it, well, no, I didn't. It's not that I didn't love her performance. I just, I, I, I preferred my Laurie to be the more. To Jamie be Jamie Lee, Lee Curtis. I mean, yeah. you can't, you know, once someone has made a role iconic, you're not going to replace that. That's why, you know, yeah. when all of these Marvel actors, like all their contracts are up and it's switching ships, whoever plays Iron Man next or Captain America, or whoever, I feel bad for them because oh, God, people yeah. are never going to, they're never going to give them a chance. Yeah. Yeah. It's like back to the, back to the Heath Ledger Joker thing. It's like, it's, you're not giving it a fair chance. You know, I get that this person has really kind of honed in on the role and made it their own, but like, you know, you can't be irreversibly attached to someone i guess yeah yeah and it's it's a, it's a weird thing and i also here's the thing when i saw halloween 2 rob zombies halloween 2 i was like what the fuck i mean what literally the fuck i, I liked everything with daniel harris and the and, and brad dorif i thought that was really good but like the movie was so fucking messed up the weird thing is now I actually enjoy that film. I, 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 there's a lot of it. I, I really, really enjoy. don't remember it at all. Watch it when you're stoned. Sounds like you're good. I was already going to do that with the remake. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I weird, weirdly for me, I don't deal well with horror like that. I don't. It, it gets a little too unnerving for me. And maybe I watch. Oh it no, I'm going to hate it. But yeah, I <laughs> still yeah, do you're, it. You're you're going to watch the the remake. Like this, yeah. Ooh, oh my god! You're you're gonna be scared. Yeah, gonna, but I'd be scared not scared. like that too. Okay, that's true. That is true. Yeah, it's just I, I don't know. 
you may you may have to call me like at some point during that time when you do that and just let me know what's going on because I need okay. to be there with you in some way. Okay. I think we need to be, we need to experience that together like okay. in some way, right? I'm right, right? I mean, I'm cool with it. Okay, good. Cuz I'm yeah, that, I think that needs to happen. I uh, so you so you watch watch that one again. We should figure out I wish there's you know, I really wanted. To, I, I can't wait till we can do a show together, like actually in the same room. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, of course, it's going to be the best. It's going to it feel will. like a real podcast at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is. But it's funny how like this has become so normal. Yeah, like seeing people that you haven't spoken to, like families can do this, or or whatever can do this. We've been doing this. Yeah, I, I I just share with my hands a lot, so don't mind me. Um, it's a it's it's very strange. It's a very strange fucking world. And it here's the thing: I for those of you at home, most of you are probably using Zoom. A lot of you are, right? You know how you have the little chat room. We have a little chat room between the two of us, and we have this one word just staring me in the face and I keep wanting to go in there and, but I'm trying to find the right place and I can't really find the right place. So because we're talking about Halloween, because it's Rob zombie, because there's a lot of nudity. Yeah, sure. Porn I mean, we star. Don't, what we the don't hell is a, the porn star? Yeah. We don't necessarily have to find a segue. We can just go right into it. Let's do it then. Yeah. Fuck it. So yeah, I I put a little. Um, I was I was at work, and uh, this guy comes. This guy's been coming in, um, every morning, uh, for the past couple weeks now. So like I know his name and everything, and 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 one day I just was like, you know, hey man, how's your morning going? And he goes, it's pretty good. I got to go to work later. I was like, where do you work? And he goes, uh, I'm a porn star, and I'm like. Oh, he just, like, just came right out with it. You know, most professionals, I feel like, in that world would kind of be like more, oh, I'm in adult entertainment or I'm an adult film star or – no, he just went right to porn star. Porn star. He said those – that word. Yeah. At first I thought he said I work at Coinstar, and I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. And then I realized he said porn star, and I thought – I don't – it was – I was not expecting it, but I was like genuinely kind of, I was really interested. I've never met a porn star before. Hmm. Well, that you know of. So, and not that I know of. And yeah. so I, uh, I was just asking Leo, cause I guess he's been working still. I'm like, yeah. that's shocking. And he goes, yeah, I get tested every three days. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the sets are usually just like me, the girl and the director. And I'm like, good for you. Well, I think, yeah, I think, I think, Porn has weirdly, uh, they, it seems like they've transitioned well because they've got, I guess they've got, you know, you can, you can, you don't have to have a big set. You, no. you, you don't have to love well, it. And plus, I, I think that uh, also they need to, they probably need to keep filming uh, and just kind of force it through COVID because uh, over quarantine, I, I think people cumulatively have watched all the porn. So they're like, we got to just keep going. Otherwise, they're gonna run out of shit. So, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's fascinating to me, like how much porn is out there. Like what, literally anything you could think of. You know, if you want to. Uh, yeah, you're like, is there a porn for that? Of course there is. Of course there is. I mean, obviously, some of that, some of that's horrifying. But like <laughs> in general, yeah. like I. I I think most people's kinks or most people's, you know, like whatever they're into, you know, Hey, who the fuck cares if they're watching porn to get, I mean, it's probably better. Right. I mean, I, I yeah, just, instead of bothering like other real life people. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think it's a weird how porn has become so personalized. Like the, with the, the, my, what I never remember what that is. Only fans. Thing. Only fans. I never remember what that is. Uh, I, I, I just, I, I think it's weirdly, it's fascinating. But although we, that weirds me out because at the same time, if you are like paying someone to like watch them do whatever, 
and it's a OnlyFans. That seems so. You must really dig that person because you can get porn real easy yeah. without paying for it. That's true, but you know, some people they have a great personality. Some people do interesting or crazy things. Um, or but you know, there's some people that just epitomize what someone likes, like down to the face or like you know different body parts. They're like this person is has like the perfect version of what i like whether it's like you know beautiful face or you know w whatever it is you know so mm -hmm. i think there's a lot of reasons you did that very respectfully too i think i i, I give you credit you are a gentleman you really I've, are i well no i've 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 learned a lot about the adult film industry and its actors i've i've some of the podcasts i watch they've interviewed porn stars and I just you really kind of get this understanding of the the good ones anyway. They they are very they're professionals. Mm -hmm. They are legit professionals and they treat their jobs they they treat it respectfully and it's and and, and serious and you know it's 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 fascinating to hear about because people just it it sort of humanizes what what's going on instead of it just being videos of people fucking. It's like no, there's this is this is a legitimate career and it's it's yeah. these people are professionals of what they do yeah it's, professionals of fucking you know, well let me ask you this did you did you well did you did you, did you ask the guy's name did you look him up did i ask, did i did you look the guy up? dick yeah well no course. did you like, well, yeah how, how was it was it were you impressed it or? was a porn star dick for sure and he just <laughs> shot a big load it was crazy I've, I've actually I, I also that. love how to, for him to be like yeah I'm a porn star like it's the most casual way to say I have a huge cock and I fuck hard so much that people pay me to do it on camera so I that's that's huge props wow. to that guy that's actually is he is he is a cool guy nice guy he's a nice guy he's a really nice guy and wow. and even even again the way his you know the way he described everything he just Nothing about it was tongue in cheek. It's just it was just very business talk, and I'm like, this is why I wanted to have a conversation about this. Yeah, it's it's weird. The 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 porn stars I've met, yeah, and yeah, I've told you this story, right? Didn't we talk about this on the my the sex files? Didn't we talk what? about this? We what didn't is, talk about this. Maybe uh, maybe we, we did. Maybe I think we did. we did. I think we did. I yeah, my experience with meeting a, a porn star and, and and actually talking to these people. They're just people, and they're 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 they. You know, I I kind of give them props. I mean, look, I uh, clearly there are lines to be drawn, and I, I think you're legitimate adult workers or adult whatever. I I have no issue with that. When it gets to the weird shit, you hear these. I, I listen to these. Um, the the my YouTube fix is these scary stories that people read and that they happened. And there's the dark web ones where you're like. Oh, I found child being children being murdered or all this stuff. I'm just, I I don't even know how you would go. I would never even fucking want to even go down that rabbit hole. Like not even out of curiosity. I just so I don't. Clearly, there's a line. I, there's I don't want to. That's disgusting. And like if you're if you're looking at child pornography or if you're looking at abusive people being beat. I don't get that. But like two people fucking, two people or well, a group of people fucking. You know, it's it's yeah. there's nothing wrong that took with took a that. dark turn. Yeah, it did, it did. Yeah, it really did. Here, was... I'm gonna turn it back around. Um speaking of stars, not necessarily <laughs> porn stars. Um I I was going through some message I, I saw a message that you sent me maybe like a week or so ago. Um, and I totally forgot about it. I meant to ask you about this. You mentioned that, uh, and for people who, who don't know, I know you've mentioned this before, but for people who don't know, um, you know, you didn't come out here to necessarily be a journalist. It's something that kind of you fell into mm -hmm. and, and, and you originally came out here for, for acting mm -hmm. and you mentioned to me that you lost a role or might have lost a role to brad pitt what's that story okay so here yeah here's the story um i auditioned for a a short a 
Yeah, sure. And you know, Brad Pitt. Well, if 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 you're watching, Brad, I'm sure you are. I'm absolutely. You could. I I could be completely wrong. It could be bullshit. But uh, so there was a. Um, I forgot what it was called. Oh my god! I auditioned for a, a short where I played a guy that was a little nutty and a little psychotic. I did. I always played like weirdos. I always played psychos. I never played normal. Did regular. you audition for Twelve Monkeys? No, not oh, that one. I thought that's where this was going. No, I, I wish. Oh my god! <laughs> I, like, no, and I, it was Twelve Monkeys. Mm -hmm. It was Twelve Monkeys. I auditioned for that. I lost the, lost the role. No, I auditioned for this. This. I, I wish I could remember the title. It was like a western kind of, a dirty kind of serial killer type of thing. And I, I was like so. I, the guy was like, after the audition, the guy was like, dude, please, you're fucking great. This is really good. Like, could you mind sticking around and reading with other people? I'm like, of course not. Sure, why not? So I kept doing the role. It was uh, I played the southern real scuzzy kind of weirdo. And um, it, it, it went really well. And at the end of the audition, he's like, you'll definitely be hearing from us or something like that. Uh, worm food? I, I don't know. Something like that. And uh, it was, I never heard from him. I never mm. heard from him, never heard from him. And then a movie called California with a K came out. Oh, that's where this is going. His name, the character's name was Early. He was a psychopath who ends up killing people. It, it was so similar that I, I, I think it may have been the thing I auditioned for. Like, a sh like maybe they're doing a proof of concept or something yeah 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 so i was like because it sounded so similar and I, so i like to think that i, I was that it's close. totally possible yeah totally possible and i was I, it's i love i love playing psychos that was like i was so excited i was so bummed yeah. that it didn't work out man. you know it's funny like, like I, I i don't know i guess maybe from this show and and you know, meeting me in person, you would never guess it. But the minimal acting work that I've done so far has been very aggressive sort of authority figures and tough guys. And, and I fucking love those roles. There's so good. much fun. And yeah, and it's like I get to kind of be this aggressive person and it's kind of therapeutic in a way because it's like in a safe, controlled, fictional type of regard. Mm -hmm. And... um yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun, you know, because I'm just not that guy. No, you know? you're not. No, and, you're but, you know, I guess that's, I guess that's why uh, anybody wants to be an actor, right? They enjoy that. Yeah. Well, you always want to step out of your own kind of fucking shell. And you always, I, I my thing with when I was acting, I always wanted to fucking, I wanted to do shit that was insane. I wanted to go farther than I, sh I normally. Yeah. And I always see British actors, and I was all, that. Those were always my inspiration, like the Brits, because they were fearless about yeah. the role. They would never like. Well, I wouldn't really take a role like that because you know it's not really. You know, it's not really. That wouldn't be. That, I don't know if that's good for my image or something. Yeah, like right, that. right. Then you see someone like you and McGregor back in his early years playing these insane massive drug addicts and train spotting uh, a bisexual rock star in, in velvet gold mine uh he would he he did a japan a film that was a japanese film where he's basically naked the whole movie having sex with his beautiful i think it was vivian Wu is her name uh the pillow book um he took chances he took risk and i always i i find that seems like more british actors do that i don't see or foreign yeah. actors i don't see i don't see a lot of american actors taking those kinds of risks i i feel like i don't yeah and it's a shame because you know you get a lot of these actors that are always the hero always the good guy and it's like it, you know that they're intentionally taking that route f i guess for longevity and yeah. for branding and image purposes but I don't know. Playing playing a villain is so much fun. It's a lot of fun. Well, yeah. you get to yeah. It's I like stepping. I mean, hey, it was fun just talking about the going a little dark earlier. It was just like just getting deep into these. I love. Do you, do you watch the show Mindhunter? 
No, I still, that's, I mean, that's, I have such a backlog of shows and movies <sighs> to watch, but that is, that. Uh, yeah, I remember wanting to see it when it was out. It's really, I, I highly recommend it. I love, I'm a huge, uh, a huge fan of the show just because I, I, I used to be really obsessed with serial killers when I was young. No, not anymore. Yeah, I, 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 it was. I would read all the biographies, and I would always oh, like, "Ooh, wow, this is really messed up." Oh my gosh, how could someone think that way? I, now they're fascinating people. I will they say are. that they were, yeah. they are, and it's. But I, I feel like it's to me. It's now as an adult, I, 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 I just I don't know if I want to go to those places anymore. I don't really. Yeah. Want to Especially go now when there's so much shit happening you're like i don't need anything that makes me feel worse yeah right I, i'm like i'm fucking give me a goddamn happy comedy or a musical i'm like fuck yeah. I wanna give see. me hubie halloween starring adam sandler on netflix now exactly i watched a movie and i well i mean technically i think i could mention it because this won't air for a while yeah um, I, this won't come out until at least november Oh, fuck it. Yeah, so I, I did a movie. I watched a movie last night. It's the interview I'm doing is with Dylan O'Brien, who was from, from Teen Wolf and Maze Runner, and um, and a girl from uh, Game of Thrones, too. Oh. I, are you a Game of Thrones guy? I never I never watched it. I, I only just recently got HBO. And plus, I, I probably never will watch it. I've never really been into like that whole fantasy kind oh, of okay. world. It's the same thing. Do you know the game Skyrim? No, I don't. But I, I've heard of it. It's I, a, yeah, it's it. yeah. it's pretty yeah. It's pretty much like you know this this. It's a similar type of setting, like fantasy world and dragons and shit. And I've never been into that at all. Okay, uh, yeah. So I have neither. I, I've never. I watched the the first episode of Game of Thrones, and it was fine. It was good, but I just for some reason I didn't really get into it. So one of the actors, her name is Jessica Henwick. I think I'm blind. I can't see. Uh, so I'm interviewing them in the morning for a movie called Lo love and monsters. Mm. It is, it's about a, uh, 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 there was an asteroid coming to the world and it's, it's about to destroy earth. So we send up rockets to destroy the thing. And it basically poisons all the insects of uh, on the planet earth. So a lot of them become like these monstrous, gigantic insects. So it's all these Whoa. monsters, and so it that sounds the, awesome. It's it's awesome, for, but not why you think it would be. Um, so Dylan O'Brien is a guy that I'm not going to give away. The, I'm just going to give away the basic plot outline. Um, he's a guy that there's these colonies, and he's part of this one colony, but he's kind of useless, and he doesn't really he doesn't have a partner he doesn't have a relationship and people just kind of treat him as like well, well he doesn't really do anything he makes good soup basically mm. um and he he finds out where his this girl the, the love of his life is so he makes the, the the effort to i'm going to go to her and uh that's what the movie is about and i fucking loved dylan o'brien in this i he's insanely charming and sweet because he's such a kind of a like a not a goofy guy but he he's so vulnerable and so and I, I thought it was a really beautiful performance because of that and and the movie is more of a character study I mean don't get me wrong there are monsters and they're kind of creepy looking but it's a PG-13 movie it's not gruesome there's a couple kind of ugh, but it's not a gruesome movie but it's got such charm, and I was, I really, I'm, I was smitten with it, dude. I was smitten. 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 That's a word. I was fucking smitten, smitten. and I, I, I'm just kind of like, I, I'm like, oh, he, oh, they're so cute, and the, they're so sweet, and I, I love this movie. I'm and it starting made me to get smitten. So good. I'm, I'm smitten now. I'm smitten. I should tell him that tomorrow. You think? Yeah. Just say I was smitten. I was smitten. I, I he do, is it is it will it be weird to say it's it's an adorable performance? It's an adorable performance. Yeah, I mean it really. I it's it's I'm a I'm a fan of his in general. He's a nice guy 
fucking amazingly sweet guy. He also has, he would be great on this show because he, well, I don't know if he likes weed, but he definitely falls into our category when it comes to politics. I know that I was checking out his Twitter the other day, um, which sometimes I do when I'm about to interview someone. Um, but yeah, it was like, a, it was a trip, man. I, I really love this movie. I think you will love it. It's got, it's, it's weird. It's a monster movie with so much heart and so sweet and so just, I don't know, made me feel all good. I'll tell you, uh, speaking of movies that I love, um, on the episode with uh, Ryan Coltrera, mm-hmm. we, we got on the, the topic of what's your favorite bad movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, I think I had said Kung Pao just because that's the only thing I could think of. I know what it is now. Oh, God, what is it? It's uh, Mortal Kombat. Oh, of course. Both oh, of yeah. them. I love both of them. Wow. Yeah. I fun. dude, I have fucking Blu-ray copies of both of them. I was like I was like following the news of the release of those. I'm like, oh, it's announced when's it coming out? And I'm like following up on it. I love those movies. I like grew up watching them, so is it terrible? I've I've never I've never seen a Mortal Kombat movie. I don't think I saw either of them. Really? Dude. Yeah, I'm not a video game guy, so it was like Well, you know, I mean, you won't really know the characters, but you'll you'll still be able to enjoy the fun. Okay. Okay. I yeah, mean, hey. you should definitely you should definitely watch it. Also, those movies, and for those of you who watch and who have seen these movies, you already know. It has the best intro of any movie ever. Like, when it starts, it fucking starts to let you know. It, it's, like, right out of the... It doesn't It doesn't leave you wondering what kind of movie it is. Just right out of the gate, it's a fucking fast-paced uh, action movie with, like, techno music in it. It's fantastic. I, I, I You know what? For you, I will do this. I will watch... I will check it out. Please, at least watch the first one. The second one gets hated on... But they both suck technically, so it kind of doesn't matter. I love both of them, personally. Mm. Yeah, I no. would say I would say I watch both of them. Go ahead and watch both of them. So here's the thing. Speaking of movies, sometimes that are bad, I got something in the mail today. I'm so happy. Is it okay. these nuts? D, I got these nuts. I got check this out. I got these nuts. You want to see those these nuts? Yeah, show me these nuts. Okay. Those nuts. Be careful, because I'm. Yeah, I'm Let's see. I'm going to show you this box because it'll say what it is. That's a pretty big box. Thank you. It's great. Oh, is yeah. It? Yeah. I saw this, uh, I think, on your Instagram. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so like, I, I literally, I was like a kid, dude. I was like, oh, my God. I love these so much. And I, I like, I, I was like, and I'm sitting here, my wife's trying to work. And I'm just like, I just got, I got to open this. I got, I got, I pull this out. Oh my God, I'm high. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my God. And I was She's like, like shut up, nerd. She, oh, she thinks she's never seen a Friday the 13th. No, I took her to see Jason Goes to Hell. That was it. That she, that's the one she saw. Um, but I, I, she's not really, yeah, she's not really a horror. Person. Explain, explain to the people at home what we're talking about. Cause maybe Jason Goes to Hell. Every, no, no, no. Oh, oh yeah. Got? So I got the Friday the 13th, the, the new 13 disc edition. It's got remastered 4K versions of a couple, I think four of the movies, I want to say. The uncut version of Jason Goes to Hell, which is a beauty. I, 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 I know it's a movie a lot of people hate. I fucking love this movie because it is loaded with TNA. Gore, the, probably got the best kill well, at least one of the top three kills in the entire series. Okay. Um, it's it's one. Of, it, it involves a signpost and two people fucking in a tent. I mean that it's that's all I, I have an idea where that's going. Yeah, it uh, it's you have an idea. It's it's more gruesome than what you're thinking. It's really gruesome. Um, so it's a beauty, and I I'm such a fan of this series. I I. I 
even the shitty ones, man, like even fucking Jason takes Manhattan, where literally he's in Manhattan, which is Canada, for maybe 25 minutes. And, and the there's one shot in New York where he's walking down Times Square. That's literally, that's it. And ironically enough, Friday the 13th is in November, so... Maybe this will air sometime. You, you never know. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's uh, but I, I yeah I I I very rarely buy Blu-rays anymore. I, I just financially I don't want to spend the money on it. Yeah. And whatever. And you can stream stuff. And you, our buddy, our mutual friend Zach, always is like, dude, you got to buy, you got to buy the Blu-rays because they're better. And I'm like, yes, they are, but I'm I'm cheap. So. I bought this and I, I was like, it's, I'm very excited. And it came, it was supposed to get it, it was released on the 13th. Today is the set eighth, seventh, seventh. So yeah, I got it early. So I'm, I'm, I'm Oh, uh, look at you. I'm very happy, dude. I'm very happy. That's cool. That's cool. Really yeah. Cool. I, I got, man, I, I got one thing before release and I felt so fucking i felt like a celebrity that gets like exclusive <laughs> access to things it was you know what it was what it was so there was this local music shop called uh capital music not capital records capital music yeah. in my hometown there's a few of them in the area it has since shut down but it was pretty much like a, a miniature amoeba you know oh, i had the cds oh, and the vinyls yeah. and shirts and shit and and so that's why i love amoeba so much it's like i've been going to shops like this my whole life and they're my favorite kind of shops and um but you could like pre-order uh albums that were coming out mm. so or you could even special order them and have them delivered to their store well i had pre-ordered uh <laughs> lint biscuits at the time yeah. newest like upcoming album which one which which uh, which album i forgot what it was even called it came out like 10 years ago it's i think it's still their most recent one probably but it was like 2009 or some shit when it came out it was like you know new lint biscuit and uh, i pre-ordered it and the guy sold it to me a day before release and i was like oh shit look at me i got a i got a fucking hookup for lint biscuit oh my god you were a, you were a lint biscuit star dude i was i was yeah. a, i was the number one fan did you have the hat, the red hat? I didn't have the red hat. I didn't really get into hats until like middle school. And now you can't, like, I can't get a hat off your head. You're always had a hat. Well, time. you know what it is? It's it's because I still have my quarantine here and it's I real long. Have... And like, Dude, I don't. It's cool though. You... Yeah. And see, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how to wear it sans hat. And I think until then, I'm, I'm going to keep hatting it up. Yeah, but I, normally I, 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 would, I would have like short, nice, nice little comb over. You know, I would always like I was wasting my money on hats before, so at least I'm getting my money's worth now. Well, I, I got I got a proposition. Okay. Okay. So next episode next week, no hat. Okay. Let's just see what happens to your hair. Let's see. Okay. I got the long flow and locks. If you have the long long flow and locks, it may be like this this like wow this like this the fire this electricity it's like thor and loki or i i don't know i'm i'm really yeah i'm, I'm there I mean, thor has luscious locks he has luscious locks until they cut it off and that then i'm not oh yeah i'm not i miss the thor hair i miss the long hair i think I like everybody thor. does you and all the other 14 year old girls he's a, he's a nice dude he's so fucking cool too like he's a genuine like he's he he's a nice guy i like have, have you I met like, him too yeah i got a picture uh my my kid because my my son wasn't huge into like superheroes but he liked thor and he was like thor is cool and so he got to meet he got his thor moment and a little wow. photograph with him yeah That's it's cool. pretty rad yeah it's uh he likes he likes wonder woman more now i mean he's a, don't we all i mean yeah right so uh yeah it's a it's a I, uh, yeah, I'm not really into the Thors or any any of it anymore. I'm like, I still like. It's weird, like as a as a job, if I have to review a movie like that, I can totally do it. Yeah, we we talked about this before, and and yeah. I remember 
I think around the time Batman vs Superman came out, um, Seth MacFarlane had this tweet that said, "At this point, uh, superhero movies are like sex with a person that you can't bring yourself to break up with yet." And I'm yes, like, "That I is the that. perfect, yeah, that's the perfect." I hope I didn't say that on the show. I don't want every episode to just be like a recap of everything else we've talked about. That's, but like, I'm sure we're gonna like fucking come on. I'm sure we already have, but that's fine. We, we, yeah, we. Um, yeah. But and no, I, I, that's the perfect analogy because that's how it felt. You know, you get this burnout, but now it's at the point, especially now that Avengers Endgame came out and that, that story kind of had an ending. I'm like, okay, I'm done. Like mm-hmm. they have all these new shows and movies coming out and I'm like, no, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. The only one I want to see, like I'm looking forward to seeing just because I love Florence Pugh is, uh, and I'm sure I fucked up her name. Uh, who she was in Midsommar and she was in um, Emma and she was in um, no she's not in Emma she's in Little Women sorry um, I, I I like Scarlett Johansson too so I want to see Black Widow that's oh I'm, yeah I'll, I'll probably see that and Wonder Woman I still I, I, I like yeah it. that's the other thing too is that I'll 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 still see all the DC stuff for sure it's, yeah I like yeah I think like specifically the- Marvel that I'm burnt out on. I, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I think we're. Uh, I don't know. I, I I am generally superhero fatigued, but I, we have t- talked about this. We have. Oh yeah. But I, I was like, still thinking about this. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. It's getting. I mean, it's getting late in the game. Anyways, we've been on for like an hour and a half. Yeah, we have. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could wrap it up. We could. We could let's do this. Let's do let's do a, a wrap up and then let's just chat for a little bit. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Okay, cool. Uh, so. da, 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 da. All right, yeah, I'm gonna cut this shit out. Um, <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, guys, okay. uh, we're gonna get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Jimmy, where can people find you? Of course, uh, Jimmy O from Joe Blow. You know, you can find me there. You can find me arrow on the head find me we live you can find me sound scary on viddy space um and all the platforms social media i'm 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 on all that shit man yeah and uh as always you can find me on twitch.tv slash justin underscore butts for uh video game streams and uh me getting pissed off and uh, you can also follow me on instagram at justin butts 94 and uh yeah Thanks for joining me, Jimmy. No, it's a pleasure. Always, man. Always, always. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.